Pregnant Megan's new bodyguard rushes her out of engagement at sweltering Fiji market after just six minutes due to security risk, as worried Duchess is seen whispering to aides seconds earlier. The Duchess of Sussex was today rushed out of a sweltering market in Fiji following a security scare and crowd control issues. Pregnant Megan, 37, was seen whispering to her aides moments before she was whisked away by her bodyguards from the busy marketplace in Suva, the Fijian capital. The planned 20-minute tour, to meet female stallholders involved with the UN Women's Project Markets for Change was cut short, with the Duchess spending just six minutes in the market before she was hurriedly moved along. The swift change in schedule was put down to a security risk with Kensington Palace blaming massive crowds as one royal aide said it was hot, humid and uncomfortably busy. Dramatic footage shows the moment her chief bodyguard and other protection officers realized something was amiss and swiftly escorted her through the crowds. The engagement marked day nine of Prince Harry and Meghan's 16-day Commonwealth tour, and was the first full day in the country's capital. The Duke and Duchess earlier visited the University of South Pacific campus, and Harry unveiled the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy Project and laid a wreath at the Fiji War Memorial. Throughout the day, Meghan wore a 1,150 pounds, 2,110 Australian dollars, 1,495 US dollars, vibrant red silk dress by Fig with a blue furl print and a playful pom pom detail, while her husband Prince Harry chose a tropical print shirt. Her dress featured a wrap silhouette with a V neckline, long sleeves and a symmetrical ruffle hem and seashell detail. Megan, 37, paired the gown with the 80 pounds, 147 Australian dollars, 104 US dollars, Costanier canvas wedges pedras she wore on Sydney's Bondi Beach last week. She completed her look with a tropical flower headpiece fitted in an updo created by her personal hairdresser, George Northwood who joined the royals on tour in Fiji. During Meghan's visit to the market many of the gathered people in the crowd were disappointed and surprised at the mother-to-be's exit, as onlookers described the meeting as well-behaved and friendly. They pointed out that the crowds were being kept well back from the Duchess by police and royal security and she was not being mobbed. A royal aide said, it was hot, humid and uncomfortably busy and there were far larger crowds than expected. She met everyone she was meant to meet and left. There would have been a lot of people who would have been keen to meet her but she did met those who had hoped to. On advice she was taken out due to crowd management issue. One stallholder who had been positioned to expect a visit from the Duchess, said, It is such a shame as we were all very excited to meet her. We started preparing for the visit three weeks ago and he had been meant to meet her but she left without even saying hello. Flanked by her female head of protection and a Fijian security official, Megan's safety was kept paramount as she was quickly moved on from the scheduled engagement. The officer, who the male is not naming for security reasons, has been working with the couple for several months and is currently with them on tour, overseeing the massive police operation that surrounds the pair. As she was ushered through the marketplace, the Duchess wore a dress by Figan carrying a woven bag made by women at Suva Market. She was welcomed at the engagement by Dr. Josefa Korovuita, the Permanent Secretary for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation, by J. Chand, the CEO of Suva City Council, Myron O. L. Visa, the UN Women's Director of Programs, Shabna Verma the legal advisor to Suva Market Vendors Association who presented Megan with a bouquet of flowers, and Sophia Nalai, president of the Vendors Association. The Markets for Change program has been so good in helping us all in training, literacy, finance management and customer service. We have learned how to prepare budgets and how to be a leader. Before I started on the program two years ago I was lost with all of this. It is so important for me to be able to share my experiences with the Duchess, to tell her how I used to be a sewing machinist, and how this program has helped me develop so much. I want to ask her all about the baby too, and her visit to Fiji. Megan, who looked slightly flustered during the hurried walk through the market, shook Mrs. Salusalu's hand, and said it's very good to meet you, before moving on. Mrs. Salusalu said, she didn't really speak at all, like she was a bit afraid. She just said Beulah and nice to meet you, but I'm happy to have met her. Sophia Nalai, 33, from Suva, was another vendor who briefly met the Duchess. Mr. Lai, the president of the Markets Vendors Association, sells rude crops, 
honey and coconut oil at her stall. She said, the Duchess told us it is lovely to see how beautiful the market is. The program has helped us with the challenges facing the market stallholders, even things like the toilets here. We have to share with the public, so that is one of our current concerns and we would also like more space for each vendor. We have been educated with the program and now we feel we can stand up for ourselves and raise our concerns, even with government officials. It is important for the Duchess to come here because she is all about empowering and helping women. Meghan has previously campaigned for women's rights and gender equality. In her former life as an actress, she was the new and women's advocate for political participation and leadership and once declared in a speech, I am proud to be a woman and a feminist. Shortly before her marriage, Meghan reinforced her feminist principles, declaring women don't need to find a voice, they have a voice, they need to be empowered to use it and people need to be urged to listen. The Markets for Change program is delivered by the Fiji multi-country office and funded largely by the Australian and Canadian governments. It works with 20 market sites across Fiji, the Solomon Islands and Vanuatu to help ensure they are safe inclusive and non-discriminatory work environments for female stallholders. Between 75 and 90 percent of market vendors in the Pacific region are women, but the hours are long, profits often low and working conditions are difficult. Women often come from rural areas and sleep in the market for days, exposing them to higher risks of violence and theft. The program has helped provide roofing, secure accommodation, sanitation and clean drinking water for rural vendors. It also holds workshops focusing on women's leadership and participation, marketing, financial literacy and entrepreneurship, resulting in women increasing sales and having a voice on market committees. While Meghan was ushered from the market, the Duke of Sussex went back to his roots as he planted a tree with the same shovel his grandmother the Queen used for the task in 1953. Harry who wore a blue Beulah shirt for the visit to Kolo I Suva Forest Reserve, also met a woman who had served her tea when she visited Fiji during her epic coronation tour. Lishiana Vulaka, 87, was just 21 when she was chosen for the task by her employer Francis Lillian Charlton, who was the principal of Adi Kakaba Secondary School, a girls' boarding school visited by the monarch. Local clan chiefs were gathered around her as the Duke arrived but he immediately crouched down to speak to her and had clearly been well briefed on her story. Speaking afterwards an emotional Lishiana said, I am so happy today because he talked to me first and he knew all about my story. Describing her previous royal encounter, she said, I was 21 years old in 1953 and I was working for a lady as a housemaid. She taught me a lot about how to do things, so when the Queen came, they chose me to serve her and the Duke. I was so frightened the first time, but I was very very lucky. She was so beautiful, with beautiful skin and clothes. The Shiana, who had been well trained in etiquette by her boss, also recalled an apparent breach of protocol by Prince Philip, saying, I remember that the Duke didn't use a teaspoon to put sugar in his tea, he picked up the sugar lump with his fingers. I was shocked. Harry was in the forest to formally recognize its dedication to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy project and to mark the occasion he unveiled a plaque and planted an indigenous takua tree, which is a threatened species in Fiji. He was led to a shiny metal shovel, engraved with the words Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Latoka, Fiji, December 18, 1953 and picked it up, saying, This is the second time it's been used since 1953 right? He filled in the earth with the help of two school children after giving a speech. Earlier, the Duke had a crash course in Fijian traditions as he watched demonstrations of mat weaving using dried pandanus leaves and hair dyeing, using makita fruits, limestone and clay inside an open-sided beret, or hat. Spotting two men demonstrating the stages of kava production, he said, that's what I drank last night. Sniffing a bowl of the earthy drink prepared by pounding the roots of the agonet tree into powder and adding water, he said it was strong. How much of this do you drink at the weekend? The Duke asked local men Joely Nazaka, 18, and a Parama Aluaviti, 28. Around a kilo, said Joely. It would be easier to just drink a beer, joked Harry. Harry then met members of the Matagli and Nalukara and Matagli made in Akravata clients, the traditional owners of the forest who leased it to be legally protected by the Fijian government in 1949.
They included Lishiana's nephew Sala Bilivanya. The Duke also spoke to children from Tamavala and Tasira primary schools, who had prepared displays about climate change. He told them, You are the younger generation and you are much better educated about climate change than your parents. Do you think there is enough action to stop it in the rest of the world? Not enough? We need more. But what you guys are doing here is fantastic. Bernadette Welch Permanent Secretary for Civil Service and Acting Permanent Secretary for Forests at the British High Commission in Fiji, said, The people here are very emotional about their royal visit, they really cherish it. They will be talking about it for generations. The Kolo I Suva Forest Reserve, comprising 369 hectares, is home to several endangered species including the Fijian tree frog and the Balaka microcarpa fern, of which only 200 remain in the country. Before separating for different afternoon engagements, the Duchess of Sussex was seen gazing adoringly at her husband as the royal couple got into the island spirit in brightly colored outfits as they embarked on a morning of engagements in Fiji's capital. Prince Harry and Meghan arrived at the University of the South Pacific campus in Suva on Wednesday morning to mark the university's 50th anniversary.